Like, you really thought I was gonna respond back to that? Break <sighs> down my walls, you know you got me standing so tall. With your love, ain't gonna fall. Because you see me run through it all. With your love. Welcome to my channel. I feel like my eyebrow looks a little weird. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video. Welcome to this video. And we are back with a get ready with me. I feel like this is too close in. We gonna roll with it. So this is a get ready with me. I'm gonna show you how I get ready for when I take my Instagram pictures. So, if you wanna see how I get ready when I take my Instagram pictures, then let's go. So of course, my brows are already done. Of course, of course, of course. And everything else is pretty much the same as all my previous videos. So, I mean, I have perfected that, so why change it? Why? Oh, and I did try to step outside the box one time, not too long ago, and I was just, you know, playing around with eyeshadow, and that is not my forte. Okay, so I'm gonna just stay in my lane. Stay in my lane, because that is not me. That is not me. But anyway, we're gonna do our face, then I'm gonna show you the outfit. Pray for the outfit because it needs a little prayer. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I already did my eyebrows, but I already said that. So now let's conceal. So concealer, I've been pretty much still doing the same, but I've been trying to play with you know lighter concealers because this is my safe space. So, and that's because it's like not too light. I don't even think this is considered concealer for me. But, like I said, this is my safe space. So, I can't go wrong with this. But, I've still been putting in concealer. I've still been putting lighter concealers mixed with this. Just because, again, this is my safe spot. So, my safe spot, my safe space. So, yeah. But I think when I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer, I think, I feel like this washes me out. I feel like. So, I've been using this Beauty Evolved. And it has two, so I use pretty much both of them. I don't even know if that's a thing, but that's what I do. So yesterday was Valentine's Day. Wait, this video is probably going to go up. Either Wednesday or Thursday. So Monday was Valentine's Day. And uh, yeah, that's all I had to say about that. Being single sucks, not so much because of Valentine's Day, just because just it sucks because you're out here, you know, still trying to reach goals and stuff. And then if you have children, you're trying to raise your children. And then if you have a job, you got work. And then on top of that, you want me to date, like, um, dating is very different. Like, I want to do a whole video about, you know, dating in these times. And my nose is going to start running. Why? Okay, so dating is, like, very different. And I have, I want to do a whole video on dating and like the good the bad the ugly all of that but yeah I just think um I just think 
I just think it sucks, really, because like, I feel like this is the longest time that I have ever been single. And I think because like people are so like, people are so accessible. Is it accessible? Online. So I think it's hard for people to focus in on wanting to get to know one person in particular. So I think that makes it very difficult to date. And I feel like it's it doesn't keep people consistent. I just feel like I don't want to waste my time. So these like every now and again text messaging or the same shit over and over again the same exact thing every day like good morning good morning hours later how's your day going good how's your day going cool wyd this is nah that shit don't do it for me like i just can't i don't like surface conversations those don't intrigue me like i just i need deep conversations i need you to be putting in an effort to get to know who i am is what i need you're not trying to get to know me by good morning good morning how's your day going cool cool wyd not much <sighs> and then if you just like constantly text me you don't try to call me you don't try to facetime me what what are we doing wasting our time is what we're doing i don't really have time for that so yeah i don't want to oh gosh like i'm not on dating apps anymore because that shit don't work i'm not in people's dms because i just I just don't want to if people <clears throat> dm me usually nine times out of ten let me not say nine times out of ten more than likely i'm more more than, i'm more than likely going to respond back on instagram or snapchat facebook absolutely not because facebook they be saying the most and doing the most and tell me your size is not gonna get me to wanna respond to you. Like that's not gonna do nothing. Like I don't really care about like you really thought I was gonna respond back to that? I don't know. I just think do you remember how I told you I was taking a break? I think that's what I need to do. I don't even think it's like taking a break because I wasn't really dating, I don't think. Anyway, like if someone asked me to hang out, I'm like, yeah, sure, if I wasn't doing anything. And usually people don't even do that anymore because I feel like, I don't know. I really don't know. I can't really tell you, honestly, but I know I'm not getting on no more dating sites. No more Tinder, no more black no more nothing because it's a waste of my time i feel like if i'm gonna meet somebody if i'm gonna meet somebody if i'm not forever single for the rest of my life which is a possibility that i don't think i'm gonna meet my person on a dating site don't get me wrong my last two serious relationships did come from dating sites and and here we are i meant to take this out so let me do that because i want it to be kind of already fluffed out by the time i take my picture so yeah i just and plus i think i'm not in the right area to meet people anyway I don't know it's just really hard to date like it really is hard to 
date and like actually click with somebody it didn't used to be this hard like what had happened what had happened like i used to have dates lined up but again i wasn't living here i don't think no i wasn't and i think i was on um dang black people meet yeah i think i did black people meet before before black before tinder before pof I was on black people me. Ain't that a blimp? I just don't. Mm -mm. People just. And then, like, people, like, want to talk to you, right? And then, like I said, they don't really have nothing to talk about, so conversation is dead. So, as soon as you post a picture, a fire-ass picture, here they come. Bing, 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 bing. Back up and, like, nah. 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 Nah, mm -mm. don't do that. Don't try to be in my DM now. Like, no. I mean, you can, you know, give it a reaction and keep it moving, but don't try to jump back in to waste my time again. Okay, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's just move on. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on dating and all that. All that good stuff. People be more so um, after the the chase. I think people be so more so after the chase, and then and then that's it. So I'm gonna be single until did I miss up my nails? Cause they was not all the way dry. I'm gonna be single until I meet that someone that's all the way around, like all the way around, all the way around it. Let me tell you, so, in my last vlog, yeah, in my last vlog, I went on a date, right? Well, I don't think it's a date. I went to hang out with someone who I've hung out with before. Really nice guy, like, really nice guy. Very successful, you know, just into the, into nice things. Like, really good guy. Speaks two different languages. Okay. So, you get it, right? And so him and I can have, like, really deep conversations, you know? And I think he told me that he was about to write a book, which I will definitely cop his book and definitely read it because I feel like he, yeah. So, I had asked him one time because we had went out on a different occasion, and he, when he walked me to my car... He had checked my tires. And I thought he was checking my tires because I thought he was, you know, <laughs> trying to use that as like a little thing that, you know, guys do or whatever. I thought either he was doing that or he was like really a gentleman, like, you know, checking my tires. And I was like, oh, that was, that's different. Like, I've never had nobody walk me to my car and check my tires. I, that's cute. I like it. Here I go, falling for the okie doke. But even if it's not. I had brought it up to him and you know what he told me it wasn't even the fact that he was like checking my tires to make sure my tires was good he was checking my tires to see like like how I take care of myself like do you understand what I'm trying to say because I don't even understand what I'm trying to say but it was funny to me because I was like wait what so he wasn't trying to impress me. I'm gonna try to stretch this out. So he was like, he was just trying to like see like what type of person I am. Like, do I take care of like stuff like that? Right. Because a lot of times, like if he like walks someone, a woman, I said someone, like we're not talking about people. Um, if he walks someone to their car, they're like, when they open their door or whatever, they're like, moving stuff I'm like oh sorry my car is dirty right now and you know how people try to like you know i guess that kind of like lets him know like you know what kind of type of person this is and like when i go on dates when i used to go on dates there would be little things that i would look forward to because i don't care how how much the times change and how you know like the world evolves or whatever 
I still want to stick to the rivers and lakes that I'm used to. That's right, right? I did quote that right, right? Yes. And you know, like, if we're walking and I'm on the outer part, you know, closer to the street, and you're on the inner part, and you think that's cool, and we just walk, then I'm like, okay, that lets me know. But if you move me to the inner part, and you take the outer part, that's it. I also look for other little certain things, like, are you gonna open my door? Because I still like that, you know? Even though I'm an independent woman, and I will say that all day, like, I'm an independent woman. I still like stuff like that. I still like you to open my door. I still want you to, if you ride me to the gas station and I'm pumping my car, pumping my car, what the entire, and I'm pumping my gas, I still want you to get out and offer to pump my gas, if not pump my gas. Because I'm so used to doing it all the time, by myself. So, for you to just take that little, just that little small, simple thing off my hand, that, that's impressive. I like that. There's a lot of other things I like too, but I'm not going to really get into that because I don't want nobody trying to use them to impress me. I like deep conversations. I do. I want to be able to talk about anything. Talk about the government. Talk about planets. I want to be able to talk about anything, history, anything. Like, let me stop moving everything. I want to have like deep conversations. If you can't have deep conversations with me, like, and listen, I can sit here and talk about anything. I can talk about whatever, and I want someone who can talk about whatever too. I just do. I just think that's that leads for like always having something to talk about. Cause like, oh my gosh. I think I used black. I think I used black. Um, eyeshadow. Remember when I told you I tried stuff out the box? Yeah. If um, we could talk about any and everything, then that makes for like always having something to talk about, no matter what. No matter what, we don't even have to watch the same shows. Cause I could sit here and talk about shows that I've never watched, just from what like I've heard or people have told me. But I like to be very intrigued by conversation because I think it's interesting. So my job right okay now i'm going off into a different but it's kind of the same so my job requires me to talk to a lot of different people on a daily basis right and there are people that call in that just have really good conversation and like i'd be so into it and that's probably one of my one of my downfalls at my job because you know you're not supposed to be talking like that but i'll be talking to these people like they're my friends because they be having a good conversation. Like I can sit, th like some of these people can sit and talk to me for hours, and I'll be forgetting on my work. And I'll be like, okay, I gotta wrap this up. But I can sit and talk to them for for hours because they have a good conversation. This one guy was telling me about he was like in his seventies, and he was like asking where I was located. I told him where I was located, and like he was telling me all kinds of like things about this place when he was here and I was like what so that was interesting so yeah and then we realized we had to get off the phone because I had finished helping him with what he needed and I was at work but these people like really call in and be having a good conversation and then there's those people of course that you know just want to have to get what they need done and off the phone and that's cool too because that helps me out but I'm just saying I like good conversation, and it doesn't even have to be with just someone I'm interested in. I just like good conversation, period. Period! So that's that's one thing. Uh, people nowadays don't really know how to have conversation. 
don't know how to converse converse so that's that let me wrap and finish because i'm gonna be here talking all day and it's not even supposed to be all that of course i'm gonna do my little molds real quick i pick and choose which ones i want to bring out that one up but we gonna roll with it so this is my basic everyday everyday makeup and then we just gotta do the outfit and then I'm gonna show you how I take my pictures I've been talking for like 20 minutes Stanley Steamer, I should run out there. Hey, 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 hey. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You got time to do one more rug? Stop messing with these people. All right, now I'm just gonna add my highlight. And so I picked this up from the beauty store. And it's for face and body, glow and bronze powder. This one is good. good. Okay. Do you hear me? Good. Let me just find my... I didn't use it wet last time, but let's see. Let's just see. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Woo. I think I'll be hitting like that when you first get it, right? Then whatever's left, nose, bam, shine bright like a diamond. Oof, that's a lot, huh? me always doing the most like, it's inevitable for me at this point inevitable okay bam we about done with the face now we need to go get the outfit let's go all right so here's the outfit these pants these boots oh shit damn it and then this uh, kind of like linen shirt that I got from, I think I got this shirt from Goodwill. I was trying to show a little cleavage, you know, <laughs> but this shirt don't want to do that for me. Maybe I'll figure out a way to maneuver it so I can show like a little bit of cleavage, you know, a little bit of womanhood, you know. But here's the outfit. This is what we're taking a picture in. Today, today, gotta suck the good in, you know, can't have that out. So yeah, now we're gonna go take a picture, and then here's the finished face. I look a hot ass mess, but yeah, pink lip. I'm trying really hard, really hard not to put on some gloss, but I want to put on gloss so bad, but we're not gonna put on gloss. Okay. So now we're gonna go take the picture and we gotta hurry up because Kaylana gets out of school soon and I'll be having to pick her up. Tell me what you're seeing me Gotta be 
something different You must be made for me Patience is nothing In and out, in and out, in and out Arguing, trifling, difficult Let more that's pretty much it that's how i take my instagram pictures i think of an outfit that's first and foremost and then once i have the outfit together then i start thinking about how i want my makeup how i want my hair the makeup usually stays the same it's usually basic it's more so my lip combo how i'm gonna do my lip so yeah thank you so much for getting ready for me for my instagram picture if you want to see what pictures whew, i chose then follow me on instagram it's shimoka.maline yeah shimoka.maline on instagram and make sure you show me some love and i'll see you in the next video bye peace